Hello guys, welcome to Just Vibey Vibes. Welcome, let's talk about Big Brother UK tonight episode. Okay, I'm not just going to talk about the nominations and their reasons, although I have that written down, but I'm sure it's trending everywhere and everybody's talking about it. I'm just going to talk about Zach and Henry, but Zach more importantly. Like, what has Zach done to everybody? Because I do not understand. Like, is it that these people are not usually nice? Because Zach is always there for someone when they're down. He tries to motivate them. And if you're someone that is a minority, like in this country, however, the way we were brought up, like the black people, the Asian people, the way we were brought up is by you have to keep going. You know what I mean? Motivation. You cannot give up. All those kind of things. So he's just trying to... Give them some knowledge of what he has learned. So whenever he sees them down, he tries to motivate them to stand up. But somehow that is fake. Like I do not understand. Whenever they're in their lowest moment and he goes to motivate them, they listen. But then they say, oh no, he is fake. Oh, he must be fake. He's not being true. He's playing a game. Like, wow. This just shows me the kind of people that you guys have around each other. Because it tells me that they don't even know what real is. It's just ridiculous. It's like him telling uh, Henry, like, maybe best man win. That's just a joke. That just means that because both of us, one of us will be out. He was not trying to, what, I don't, what did Henry even think he was saying? Zach cannot win. Honestly, if I was Zach, but obviously he cannot see. The thing is, everybody is laughing at his face, smiling to him in his face, but nobody is telling him. Even Chanel, that I thought, even, you know what I mean, like maybe things on her own. She even fell for it. Because Haley and Jenkins also fell for it. But Jenkins is also one of them, let's be honest. So Haley and Kerry went around, talk, Zach did this, Zach did that, Zach. And then everyone now starts watching him with the microscope. And they know that uh, nominations is coming up so that he will be up. Like, honestly, it is just too much. I can't even lie, it is too much. I feel so bad for Zach. And the reason why I feel more bad for him is because I feel like somehow he doesn't have a chance to even be saved. If I have to save, I'm going to save Zach, definitely. But the problem that I have is this. Yinron is closer to uh, Henry. Jordan is closer to Henry. Jordan and Yinron are the public favorite. So definitely they're going to want to keep Henry because him and Jordan are husbands. And they would want to keep him because Yinron was crying. So there you go. That's what is going to happen. So honestly, what's even the point? And also, what is Big Brother going to do to Haley and Olivia for them talking about the nomination writing and uh, uh, stop, stop, you know what I mean? What 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 is Big Brother going to do? I feel like the, what Big Brother needs to do is someone should be out, like both of them maybe should be out or should be facing next nomination and then cancel this nomination because it makes no sense. They will automatically be up for nomination and then whoever else is nominated and then be black and send three people out at the same time. I don't care. But these two people being nominated, especially Zach, I don't think that it is right. I don't think that it's time. I think that he has been good. He has been helpful in the house. If they think he's eating too much, why is someone not telling him that he's eating too much? And why are you guys not eating? Because everybody is just like, oh, he eats a lot. He eats a lot. Maybe he eats a lot naturally. So just tell that guy, you're eating too much. Sometimes, honestly, People don't know when they're doing things like, and I feel like Zach has gotten so comfortable. He actually sees these people like his family, like his friends. He's forgotten that it's actually a game. That's where the issue, yeah, he always says he wants to win, of course, because he knows that someone is going to win, but he's not playing the game. That's the truth. He's not playing the game. He's forgotten that it is a game. Instead, he is kind of being so free with them that he cry, he makes jokes with them. And he, because he's that free, they're just picking on things for them to, you know, go at him for. So I think that he needs to step his game up. That's it. And then for Henry, yeah, Henry doesn't clean. He doesn't cook. I don't think, I don't think. Let me tell you how I got this ring. Yes, he kind of got the ring from Jordan. So <laughs> he doesn't cook. Neither does he clean. So, oh, well, he is what it is. But... I do think that honestly, I feel like the people that deserved to be on that chopping block is Haley and Kerry. Those are the top top two. And then the third person should even be Jenkins and maybe Tom because I don't know what he's doing there. And I don't like the fact that it's only two people that is up. That is like, what is this about? I don't want to say, I feel like Big Brother is just being too lenient. Why not have some people? I feel like Big Brother is trying to control the narrative. And that's the problem with British television. I can't even lie to you. They control narrative too much. 
because too many people were often mentioned in the three so they cannot put them because they don't want some people to be out and they don't know what the public is going to do so because of that they just leave them that's why i'm saying because i feel like why are you controlling the narrative for all seven of them should have been up people that got five votes four votes three votes all of them should have been up I mean, all six of them. Then we go from there. Then we pick whoever we want to pick. I feel like that would have been fairer. But it's what it is. So that's that anyway for tonight's episode. I don't really want to talk about it. As Olivia said, people are going to project themselves on you. That's what's happening with Zach. Because they're not nice. So because he's nice, they don't understand it. And when people don't understand something, they fear it. So that's it. I am just done for tonight. I'm not talking about any other thing else. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye-bye.